Welcome Capricorn to the September 2017 forecast by me, Ali from HypnoU. Now this month you are dealing with the ninth house of foreign departments, foreign education, foreign countries. Um, it's also about travel, short distance, long distance travel. It's about expanding on your education, your spirituality, your belief system, um, your father, mentor, or uh, the authorities that you're working with. So you Capricorn this month, uh, you have the nine at work. So it looks like you're thinking about, you know, taking a promotion, extra study, uh, taking on a um, diploma, uh, put, investing your money somewhere. You might have a tip off from someone here, Capricorn. And this is uh, about expanding on what you already have. This is a luxury card though. So if you put yourself up for a promotion or a job this month, you will get it. And uh, any job or any um, promotion you get will have good perks to go with it. This is about expanding on what you've already earned. So those that are investing, you'll get a tip off or you'll get an idea. The news is coming, so you hear it or you see it, and then you follow through with that. Now at home, you do have the Five of Pentacles, Capricorn. So this is dealing with Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is to do with dating or with children, even siblings for some of you. And this is feeling low, feeling unsupported. Now you might be looking after one on your own and feeling nobody else cares. You feel in the cold on your own. Um, isolated, unsupported, in a bit of a crisis or chaos. This is moods being down, mental instability. You might be caring for someone or being a parent, single parent um, or a sibling, you know, caring for anyone. But this month, you're just not feeling the resources and love from other people. Now, this is also about, you know, feeling hopeless, uh, feeling, you know, broke at times of this month, uh, Capricorn. But this might only just be, you know, the mindset um, because all your other cards are excellent. So it could be that this month, maybe if it is to do with dating, uh, you're feeling unsupported uh, because this month here in your love, you have the Page of Pentacles, which is an offer of love, offer of next level, offer of support. Uh, so those that are single, you meet someone who's a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, who's perhaps from overseas or online or foreign or a different culture to you, who is offering you some sort of emotional uh, love this month. Now, those of you that are in a committed relationship, this is about maybe moving in together, an offer of next level. For some of you, it's an apology. So maybe there's been an argument and you feel like your partner hasn't been supported. You feel like you're on the cold. Maybe you haven't heard from them. Maybe there's been an argument and then you get this apology from them. Now with your health, you do have the Queen of Cups. Now the Queen of Cups is about uh, that intuition, uh, that nurturing. And if you feel like something to do with your um, flow, whether it be period flow, blood flow, blood pressure, air flow, anything to do with uh, liquid or flow in your body, you might feel the um, the hunch that something's not quite right. Go with that hunch. And you're dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, uh, as well as a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. So this is, you are a Capricorn, so you're dealing with a water sign, and maybe a female doctor who is going to listen, and, and, and what you're saying to them, so you might go in and describe and say, blah, 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 and then the doctor or the specialist says, okay, you know what, I've heard this before, I know exactly what it is, because it looks like there's going to be success, and there is going to be um the support that you need for this issue, um, but it's all to do with intuition and finding the right ear. So your drawing virtue messages from the angels, Capricorn, is with your work. I just want to, I get the feeling that some of you might get a tip and it's about a work change. You might say, Oh, that's a really interesting job. I think I might, you know, out of the blue, I think I might go for it. Or, you know, things at work have been, you know, you've made a lot of money, you've, you know, you know you've made your mark because this is about already doing well. And, um, or you've just graduated with that higher education and now you're going, do you know what, I'm going to contemplate change with my work as well. So you're drawing virtue messages from the Angels Capricorn is... Akash is saying, yes, go with that intuition. It's dead on. 
absolutely dead on. So whatever intuitive uh, thoughts, dreams, or aha moments you have, this is this is exactly sent by the angels to find that permanent release. Rosetta is saying that anyone, uh, if you've got children, so again, like I said, if you're a single mom or you're finding it difficult this month, that compassion's the way to go. So if it is a child, uh, perhaps they're having difficulties or being bullied or you know emotional issues going on this month, uh, compassion and empathy, listening um, will get the results that you want. And now you do have Archangel Michael. And now after this eclipse, there is going to be a life change for you. It could be this month where you are getting a bit of information so that in the future during this month you're able to make that change because Archangel Michael saying I'm giving you the courage I'm giving you the strength to make this life change and you can do it so be kind to you and those you love and I shall see you next month